do you guys want to play gardener Let's with me? Let's play! I'll be the rose, though. Hold on, everybody follow me. Where are we going? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> okay, we'll follow you then. <laughs> Sit Let's down, play. Ira. <sighs> go, go! <laughs> I was born a gardener, and I got very cross. I'm bored with all flowers but four. Whom will you be? I'm a rose. And whom will you be? Then me me a tulip. And you? I'm a chamomile. And you? I'm a buttercup. And you, Ira? I'm a myrtus. There's no such flower. Yes, there is. It is a house tree. It clears the air in the house and makes it easier to breathe for everyone, okay? And no one falls ill at home. All right, let her be whatever she wants. Let's go, guys. Run to your spots. Let's go. Move on. Faster. Come on. Let's go. Myrtus, part one. I'm home. <laughs> what happened, Mama? Mom? Mom, what happened? Please tell me. That's all right, baby girl. It's all right. You see, Dad went away for a long time, I guess. Forever, perhaps. Mom, please don't cry. You know you have us. Me, Dina, Sasha. <laughs> How will I cope with you on my own? <laughs> That's all right. We'll cope without him. I'll go to the kindergarten to pick Sasha and Dina up. <laughs> Ira, you went crazy over your little tree. How long are you gonna spray it for? As long as needed. Sit and eat your breakfast. I don't want to. Make it with an effort. Dina, come have your breakfast. School's not going to wait for you. It's okay, I'll wait, Ira. Ira, where's mom at? As if you don't know. She left a long time ago. She needs time to get to the plant. Sit down. Why are you slouching here, piggy? You're a piggy. Ugh. All right, what is all of this? Just stop it. Eat your breakfast quickly and go to school. By the way, Sasha, what have you done again? The teacher called. She wants to see mom. He really asked for it. And next time, he won't hurt little kids. Ira, why don't you go to school on your own? If Mama learns about it, she'll whip me. I think I'm the one who's going to whip you soon. Finish your breakfast and let's go. Just go straight to school. I know you both. Don't you worry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, what? His leash just got untied. Yeah, sure. He's just waiting for me. Dina loves Kostya, huh? Oh, little boy, you'd better be quiet. All right, enough, guys. Actually, the three of you can go to school together. All right, I'm off. I'm getting late for college. Don't pull any tricks. Well, hello. Hello. Let's go. Let's go. Huh. Here, take a look at the smartphone. Well, let me take a look. Look all you want, but don't touch. Do you have any idea how much it costs? No big deal. My parents promised to get me one if I passed my exams. Oh, Anton. Hello. Have you heard? Hello? That the band Johnny is coming to town next week. Want to see them? Dad promised to get me tickets. Ugh. You crow, open your eyes. Look where you're going. Sorry, I'm not into pop. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, Klochova. What are you thinking about in the morning? <laughs> she's not thinking. She's just dreaming. Clearly no one even notices her, so they stumble by. Angela, stop it already.
therefore, proper first aid dressing can save a person's life, so please take clear notes. Very good, then. So tell me, please, what is first aid supposed to be in case of a stroke? Mm. Well, let's think together, then. How can we understand that a person is having a stroke? Uh, well... Angela, why are you so badly prepared? Who's going to help Angela? Ira, please come. In order to diagnose an initial stroke, a three-step method is used. Uh, the first step, you need to ask the person to smile. In case of a stroke, the smile will be asymmetric and one corner of the mouth will be lowered. Ah, like this. <sighs> yes, very similar. All right, what's next? The second step, you should ask the person to speak. In case of a stroke, the speech will be indistinct and confused. In the street, such people are often mistaken for drinkers and not given timely help. Unfortunately, it is true. And the third step, you should ask the person to raise his hands. In case of a stroke, he won't be able to raise them to the same level. They will be off like this. That's correct, Ira. Thank you. Please sit down. As for you, Angela, you should be preparing for a report more carefully instead of downloading it from the Internet. Well, kids, we are finally through the main subject of the class. First aid in case of a stroke. Everyone's free to go. Ira, hold on a sec. What? You flunked Angela nicely. I didn't flunk anyone. Um, I'm sorry, but I have to go. Hold on a second. I've got an offer for you. What offer do you have? Well, I need to prepare the report too, just like you do. Why don't we prepare it together? We could even try to start tonight. I can't. I'm really busy tonight. I'm sorry. Off the hook, isn't she? You said no one could resist you, hottie. And now even such frump is turning up her nose. Who's turning up their nose? Ira? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a month and she'll be running after me like a dog. Easier said than done. Mm-hmm. I'll bet. Bet what? The phone, right? Okay. Right, Pasha? Well, yeah. I could use the phone right now. <laughs> Cold feet, huh? The proof will be her nude pic. <laughs> That's on. Get your phone ready. I'm covering for you in front of your teacher for the last time. I'm sick of listening to her say what kind of a hooligan you are. Well, he asked for it. Well, can't you do without a fight somehow? You should learn how to settle conflicts in a civilized manner. And how's that? Well, take him aside and talk to him. Well, talk to him like a man. Well, I took him aside and talked to him like a man. Talk to him like a man. Yeah. Well, is it here? Yeah, I think so. Such an old house. Couldn't Roma's parents buy anything better or nicer? How do you know? Perhaps it's decorated with gold on the inside. Oh, Ira, hello. What are you doing here? Do you live here? No, she works here. Look, she washed the floor for us. Yeah? She didn't try much, did she? Look at that huge puddle. <laughs> Come on, enough. Stop laughing out loud. I'm not laughing at all. Why are you? I'm not. No, take a look. She really does live here. Let's go, one more floor. What's wrong now?
Why didn't you wash the dishes? I asked you to. You could have done at least that. Ira, what happened? Nothing. I'm just sick of it. Wash those dishes already. Stop shouting at me. I'm not going to wash them now. Why are you screaming? What is going on in here? What's that puddle at the staircase? Ira, did you spill the water? Jesus. Why aren't the dishes clean? Am I supposed to wash them after my shift? Let Dina wash them for once. Mother, I'm not gonna wash them. I'm not washing them either then. Wonderful! Mom, okay, I will wash them. Mom. Ira. What now? I already washed all the dishes. <laughs> really? Ira, I'm so sorry, really. <sighs> I'm not mad, dear. Ira, you're the best, the most beautiful. The most beautiful? Oh, come on. You are the most beautiful. Just take a look. <laughs> all right, enough. Are you getting your salary at the housing office tomorrow? Yes. Can you please pay for Dina's art school straight away tomorrow? I bought a lot of food and they're holding back my wages. He says, Arigato, Elabuga. <laughs> That's good, right? <laughs> yeah. He really is. He really is. He should do stand up. Um, I, I think he swings that way. Um, yeah. Kalacheba. That's some news, huh? Turns out you're a charwoman. Do you have a problem with that? Why? Quite the opposite. My maid is resigned, by the way. I could put in a good word for you. Can't you wash? Your own floor from now on, if you want. Yeah. What do you want to see? I'll sit here with you. What do you want to see? Ira. What now? Nothing much. I just wanted to invite you to come to my birthday party tonight. Will you? Who me? Well, yeah. All the guys will be there. I hope you will too. All right, my dear kids. Take your places and be quick and quiet. We have a lot to do today. Wonderful choice, dear. All yours. Well, thank you. Tell me, please, if something goes wrong, will I be able to return the dress and get my money back? Just to make sure. Sure, darling. For two weeks only. If it's in marketable condition. Just don't tear off the label and save the receipt. All right. Thank you very much. Goodbye, ma'am. All the best.
Oh my god. Hello. Hello. It wasn't locked. Oh, yeah. It, it was good of you to come. <laughs> Happy birthday. It's for you. Thank you. Why is everybody frozen? Put on some music, let it go. Let me put this down. <sighs> Do you dance? <laughs> A little. May I? All right, Sergey. Get your phone ready. Now you don't stand a chance. We'll see about that soon. What are we looking at, huh? You're clearly losing the dumb bet. Why are you making a fuss? We've got everything under control. That's plain to see. You're not much of a prom trotter. Oh, sorry! <gasps> oh! <gasps> so sorry. I just stumbled. I'd better go now. You're such a snake. Oh, we're so gentle, though. <laughs> Let's dance. Huh? Ira, hold on, Ira. Ira, wait a second. What's wrong? Look, I'm sorry it worked out like this, really. I shouldn't have come to your birthday bash. Is it because of the dress? You don't understand. And I won't understand if you keep running away from me. Can I at least walk you back to your house? Sure, you can. But it's just across the road right there. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's right. I'll walk you to the lobby then. But... What about your guests, though? Yeah, what's gonna happen? Ira, where have you been? Good evening. I've been looking for you everywhere. Can you explain to me what is going on? I got a call from the art school. They've never received the payment. Where's the money? What happened? What are you wearing? Where did you take that dress? Kids at home have nothing to eat, and you're buying clothes. Sure. And you're out there spending money. Found yourself a boyfriend. Had some fun today, haven't you? Mother! Go home! Am I speaking to the local art school? Yes, hi. Um, I'm calling to ask about the delayed payment for Dina Kalacheva studies. Uh, paid? How so? By who? Oh. I see now. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you. Goodbye, then. Hold on. Why did you do that? Well, first of all, hello. Now, what did I do? Yes, hello. I mean, why did you pay for Dina's art school yesterday? Me? Look, I called them this morning. They said that a young man left money first thing in the morning. Did you think I wouldn't realize it was you? All right, you got me. I paid for it. It was a spiritual impulse. You know what? I'm capable of paying for Dina's studies. I'm not a poor girl, and I need no pity. Oh, don't rush in. That's not for free. You'll work it out. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you should have seen yourself. 
I mean, could you help me out with some of my schoolwork? You're the best student here. How do you like the work of a tutor? Do we have a deal then? <laughs> Watch out. I won't let you rest. You're going to toe the line and learn everything. Why are you scaring me? The lecture starts in a minute. <laughs> All right, lunate bone. Uh, os lunatum. Mm-hmm. And hook to what bone? Os hamatum. Mm-hmm. Look, who needs Latin anyway? Even Catholic priests have been long saying their masses in their native languages. Well, you're a future medical worker, not a Catholic priest. Stop complaining, actually. Am I making you learn the original text of the Aenid by heart? I'm the Aeneid. Or the Apuleius's golden ass. It has such interesting scenes, you know? Hey, hey, don't get fresh. You don't get fresh. Come on, continue working. Ah, oh, those cave art amateurs. I'd pin their ears back. Look. Sveta love me. <laughs> really, it's a heart cry. Albeit with a pronunciation mistake. Anton, stop wiping it. It's my job to clean that. Hey, your job is to get me out of C grades. All right, what's next? <laughs> All right, then. The main effects of medicinal drugs. Ah, uh, right. Uh, suppressing, stimulating, irritating, supplementing, and, oh, don't tell me, uh, cytotoxic, I think. Good job. All right, give me the rag, I'll finish. I won't give it to you. I will give you this, and we'll do it faster together. <laughs> All right. Jack and Jill, aren't you? Angela, did you want something? No, nothing. Just feasting my eyes on you. Never mind her. Oh! No! Oh. Just a second. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. Are you going to the school holiday party? Yes, I sure am. And who's your date? Not with you, Sergey. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. You're absolutely... I'm speechless. <laughs> Thank you. Find some words. Find words? <laughs> well, it takes a while. I need some time. In the meantime, shall we dance for a song? Well, if you're inviting me. I sure am. Look at the dress Ira's wearing tonight. She must have paid half a year's allowance for it. I'd spend it too, girlfriend. We should ask her where she bought it. Mm -hmm. Ask her for her tailor's number. She'll give you hers for sure. You sewed your own dress? Just don't tell anyone about it. Sergey, why don't you give me the phone right now? Why waste time? Shut up, I said, hey, man. Hey, 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 watch your hands. The clock is ticking. Tick tock, tick tock. Pasha's already celebrating his victory, I see. Another one? Go your way as well. Stupid, I want to help you out. Oh, why's that, I wonder? The forces are too uneven, but if you want to manage on your own, then it's all right. No problem. Hold on. What do you mean by that? 
There are different ways to get Kalacheva in bed if that's the goal. If you can't do it when she's in her right mind, then do it when she's not in her right mind. Are you suggesting getting her drunk? But it's unreal. Depends on what she drinks. And if you add this to her wine, she'll pass out real quickly. Well, how do you like my plan? Well... It'll work out. You watch and see. Wait here for one second. I gotta talk to the DJ. All right. Talk to me? Let's go out. I can't hear you in here. All right, but if it's not for long. Okay, yeah. Please, girlfriend. What for? No reason at all. Well, we're in a fight, kind of. A fight? I didn't notice that at all. Well, then maybe that's what I thought. <laughs> Shall we? Thanks, but I don't drink, though. This is dry wine. So that we won't fight anymore. It's good. All right, just one small sip. <laughs> I have to go. Hold on, I wanted to say something. What's up? It's about Anton. About Anton? He and the guys had a bet that you would sleep with him. That's why he's with you. I need to go. Just think, where are you and where is Anton? Why are you all over him? He made a bet and that's it, girl. You know, now we're actually about to have an actual fight this Don't time. Don't believe me, I see. There is a bet. And somebody desperately wants to win that dumb bet. Anton. Ah, uh, Kolya, have you seen Ira? No, Anton. Uh, I've overheard Sergey and, and Angela talking about her in the hallway just now. What do you mean? Sergey had, he had a little bet about her. He and Angela agreed to put something in her wine to make her, uh, to make her a little more compliant. A anyway, you, uh, you should watch out for her, or it could just be drunk gibberish, I don't know. Smile, you're being filmed with a semi-hidden camera. Shut up. Oh, come on. I've told you once. Come on, you promised to take a nude of her. Give this to me. If only you were a guy. Ira. Ira. Pigs, what have you done to her? Ira. Oh. Oh. Why are you whining? Get your famous phone out. We'll call your father to help us out. This is unacceptable. This is a shame, loud and clear. That's right, Mr. Petrovich. But I'd like to ask you that no one makes a big deal of it. You see, it won't be very pleasant for Ira. What? Are you really asking me for conditions? Excuse me, no, I'm not. Well, you started the fight, and you gave him a beating. You crippled your mate, and now you're making conditions? Mr. Petrovich, I'm sorry, but you're completely I'm unaware. I'm aware. 
You'll be expelled from the college right away. I'm sorry, me? Yes, you. Mr. Petrovich, this is a mistake. The thing is that I... Who's at the door? Genady Petrovic, I'm sorry for coming without invitation. Everybody says you want to expel Anton, but what you heard was not true. I'll tell you how it happened. Ira, there's no need. What's the circus, Ira? Step out of my office right now. And you, Anton, I've said everything. I suggest you write your resignation letter. I get it. All right, then. Come on, let's go. Anton, I don't understand what is going on at all. Why are they expelling you? So that they won't have to expel Sergei. Do you know who his father is? I bet he's already taken care of his son's fate. No, but it's completely unfair. Unfair. Well, that's all right. We'll make it. Our college is not the center of the world. No, we have to do something. I don't know. We should uh, Ira, collect you. signatures, perhaps, or something Ira. else, maybe. Uh... Did you hear me? What? What? I love you so much. You know what? Perhaps it's good they kicked me out of college. Good? How's that? I think I'll go to Moscow instead. To enter the medical university. My uncle went abroad there. I can stay in his apartment for a while. To Moscow? You don't understand. I want you to come with me too. You could enter the university. It's... It's your vocation. Are we going to Moscow to study together then? Well, yeah. Ira, I love you and I want to be with you forever. Mom, why are you carrying such weight? That's all Get right, I'm used to it. Hello. Ah, uh, Mom, I need to tell you something. What? Did Dina do something again? Or is it Sasha? Did Sasha have a fight? No, the kids are all Ira, great. I'm at work all day. I have no time. They're having their most awkward age right now. Watch out. You're responsible for them. <sighs> Mom, don't worry. I'm telling you, they are all okay. What is it then? Nothing's wrong. You coming? Going. Hello. Hello. Please come in. Ira. Yes? Do the dance. <laughs> I've got two tickets to Moscow for us. Compartment car. We're leaving in two days. What is it? Anton, I can't leave my mother. Dina and Sasha, too. How? What are you talking about? Your mother will be happy that you have prospects now. It's a blessing. <laughs> I'm not sure. Ira, you don't have to drag your entire family your entire life. Sasha and Dina are almost adults by now. And they'll be happy to get rid of your custody. Do you think so? Of course so. Anton, I can't leave them, though. Perhaps you don't want to go anywhere. You're used to living here, in your little world here. You don't want to change anything just for me. What are you talking about? You know this is not about me. 
You'll have to make a choice anyway. Sooner or later. You know what? I'll make it easier for you. Here's your ticket. I'm leaving the day after tomorrow. Either you're coming with or me. Or else what? I think you know what I mean. I don't do long distance relationships. Ira, I don't want you to leave us. But it's not forever. You know, when Dad left us, it wasn't forever either. This is a different thing entirely. I'm going to study, and I'll be visiting you all the time. She's going with Anton. He'll take care of her over there. Oh, you brazen boy. Am I not right, though? Let her go. She'll bring me a gaming console from Moscow for us. Won't you, sis? Of course I will. Dina, what do you want me to bring from Moscow? Oh, well, I don't need anything. You can just go. <laughs> so you've decided, right? Yeah, you've already packed your bag. Perhaps you have a ticket now, right? Whom are you leaving us with? I spend the entire day at work. Who's going to look after our home? After Dina and Sasha? Do you realize you're an egoist? I'm an egoist. I've raised my daughter, and she's going God knows where with her lover. You should be ashamed. Taking after your father. He left his family too. Ran after some skirt. Why are you silent? Does the truth hurt? Leave my father alone for once, and leave me alone as well. How long am I going to serve you and wash your clothes, huh, until I get old? I want to be happy too. I want to live with the man I love and study at a good university. Ira! What in the world is it? I won't let you go. Try it. You have no right. I'm an adult now. Best wishes staying here. Идет весна, ты надоела мне зима, ты забирай свои снега, ведь ты как смерть была и была. Я порисую на огне и помечтаю о весне, ведь это наша благодать, и нам останется ее малость подождать. Don't worry. Ira! Don't worry. Ira, wait up! Take care. Let's go. Don't worry. Ira! Oh, God, what happened? What's wrong? Mom had a stroke. An ambulance took her. They gave me a ride. Otherwise, we wouldn't have made it. Ira. Ira, you won't leave us, right? Of course I won't. Uncle Kolya, give me the phone. Come on. Ira, will Mom recover? Of course she'll recover. You heard what the doctor said, right? Ira, the doctor said my mom is never going to be the same now. She'll recover. Do you both hear me? Go and heat the soup for everyone. Sasha, lay the tablecloth. And you? I'll come in a moment. I need to make a call. 
Go on. Anton, hello. I don't want to hear your voice. Please hold on. Bye, I understand everything. What do you understand? Anton! Ira, you've made your choice. We have nothing more to talk about. Goodbye. Why didn't you come to lunch, dear? I've got a lot of work to finish up. Look, Ira, my mother-in-law wants to thank you very much. Huh? That new cardiologist of yours turned out to be so smart. Thank you very much for mm -hmm. recommending him to us. It's my pleasure. How do you know him, by the way? He used to teach us. He's a great specialist. Teach you? Where at? In the economics department? <laughs> no, of course not. In the medical college. I used to study there a while back, but I... But I had to give it up, too. Why, though? Mother had her first heart attack back then. I needed money and free time. There's no extension department in the medical college or field. Ira, I'm sorry. I didn't know all of that. No, but it's all right. I entered the economics department after that, and now I have a job. And you're going to be the chief accountant now. Look at you. Yeah, sure. Sure? <laughs> mm-hmm. Our grumbler has resigned. Who else would take her place? You're the best specialist in this entire office. Yeah, sure, with eternal family problems. I'm going to ask for a day out again. Wish me luck instead. Good luck, dear. Thank you. Uh, yeah, sure. If you want it this way. Yeah. Roman, can I come in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I think we'll be able to deal with it. You know how we work here. Yes, goodbye. Here are the documents on the construction company. Uh, yes, thanks. You're free to go now. What's wrong? Uh, Mr. Vasilyevich, can I ask you for a favor? Can I work from home for several days? Mom's feeling worse, and I'm afraid to leave her all alone. It's OK, Irina, my dear. I understand everything. But this is the fourth time in a year, and we have the quarterly report coming. I'll do everything from home. All the documents will be prepared in time. Listen, Irina, I need my accountant in here. I'm paying you very good money. If I needed a teleworker, the conditions would be totally different. I'm just being honest. All right, you can go. But this is the last time. I'm serious. Roman Vasilyevich, thank you very much. I won't let you down. I swear. Off me. Baby, nothing happened to you. Yeah, she just decided to sit on your knees for no reason, right? She was walking by and decided to rest. Look, I told you I don't like jealous women, all right? Get away from me now! <laughs> you don't want it. I don't want my boyfriend to lie to me. I don't <laughs> want him to moon around somewhere and skip calls. Enough! Get off me! Get hey, off! Let her go or I'm calling the police right now. <laughs> the hysteric sister's back. <laughs> what are you... Dina, let's go. <laughs> what? Why are you interfering? Who asked you to? He could just hit you. No, he couldn't. You don't know him. Look, I see how he treats you, Dina. I and don't understand you at all. And you won't. You're becoming as goody as our mother. So unfair. Dina, wait. Dina. Ira, Dina. Is that you? <sighs> Ira.
What happened out there? Is Dina getting fancy again? No, it's all right. How do you feel today? How could I possibly feel? I'm lying here alone the entire day while you're hanging out freely. Mom, why are you saying this, though? Sorry. I asked for a few days off from work to be with you. What for, though? The doctor called. He asked me to watch you. That's nonsense. What for, though? What are we going to do if you get fired? No, Sasha's in the army. You're holding the house in place. Diana only brings us trouble. The girl is lost. Mom, don't worry. She's still young. She'll have her fling and everything Help will be all right. Help me get up, please. All right. That's <sighs> such a pity. I used to be healthy, to work and raise kids, and now what? Nearly nothing. Mom, are you putting on your slippers to walk? Forget those. Dina? Dina. Leave me alone. I understand it feels bad right now, but it's just going to get worse. This man is no match for you. You don't know him. He's a good guy. It's just his character, that's all. Dina, I don't need to know him, okay? I can see that my sister's unhappy. Look at it. You're crying all the time, skipping your classes. You're waiting for him to call you, and this- Shut up, will you, Ira? Dina, I'm only telling you all this because I'm worried about you. He's using you. This is a toxic relationship. Relationship? What do you even know about relationships? Do you have one? You only dated Anton for a month, and it was a hundred years ago, and it didn't work out. That's it. And don't follow me. I'm going to the bathroom. Ira. Ira, is that you? Yes. Hey there. Hello. Excuse me, you are... It's me, Kostya. Do you remember me? I'm your ex-neighbor and Dina's classmate. Kostya! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Listen, you've changed so much. You've, you've matured. <laughs> well, I was in seventh grade when I left the neighborhood, so... <laughs> sure were. Time flies so fast, I guess. How are you? What do you do now? Well, it's a long story. I'm studying to become an engineer. I work nearby in a car repair shop. Um, uh, so tell me, how are you? How's Dina? Mm, Dina's basically all right. A bit lost. Listen, why don't you come to visit us and ask her yourself? Well, it's somehow strange. Why? I'm sure she'll be happy to see you after so long. By the way, she used to remember you a lot. Oh, did she? Yes. Anyway, we're waiting for you tonight, and don't make excuses. Can you come at six? At six, uh, uh, yeah. All right, great then. All right. Uh, do you live in the same yes. place? I'll see you then, then. See you. Yeah, yeah say hello to Dina for sure. me. Sure. I'll come. See you in the evening. All right, bye. Goodbye. Can't you hear me? Am I your dog? Am I supposed to come at a word and wag my tail when you call me? Oh, no, you're a cat. Mm. With really long claws. Yeah. I love it when you get angry with me. <laughs> Dima, stop it. Stop grumbling. What happened now? I need to go to class now. Your university can wait. Let's go.
Dima. Yeah? Tell me something. Do you love me? Of course I do. <laughs> Why aren't you introducing me to anyone at all? I don't know a single friend of yours, you know. <sighs> Look, Dina, it would just bore you. Trust me, all right? <sighs> um, we should go somewhere public, perhaps. Tell me, why are we always meeting in secret and hiding, huh? Let's go to a concert. <sighs> Dina, you're a big mature girl, dear. Do it yourself, will you? <sighs> Dima, you don't care about me at all, do you? Ira says you're just using me for sex. Why do you keep listening to that old maid anyway? She's just jealous of what we have. Don't talk about my sister like that. Hey, tell your sister to stay away from other people's business, all right? L look, bye, Dina. I gotta go. Help me lay the tablecloth, please. What for? What for? Kostya is coming to visit us tonight, actually. I didn't invite him, though. All right, I invited him. Why does it seem that you're not happy to see him? You used to be such good friends when you were kids. Used to are the key words here. Look, I'm not recognizing you. You've become such an unsociable brat. Well, that's because I'm sick of you all. Do you think I don't understand what you're trying to do? He's here. Put a smile on. Oh, Kostya, hello. Hey, Ira. Come in. Hello. Get undressed. Uh huh. Hey, Dina. It's for you. Thank you. You're even more attractive than I ever imagined. Thank you for this, too. Look, Kostya, here's the thing. I, I need to run. No offense, okay? Where do you think you're going? You're having a visitor, by the way. You invited him. You entertain him, then. Dima's waiting for me and stop trying to match me up. Oh, Kostya, I'm sorry. She got an urgent call, you see. Uh, let's have some tea, perhaps. Thank you, I, I should go. I'll see you later. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, I'm sorry. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, thanks for the cake. Not at all. Yes, that's me. This is the Art University calling. We have your number as the second emergency contact in the record of Dina Kalacheva. That's right. Did something happen to her? Yes, Dina hasn't handed in a number of works, and she hasn't been to the university for several weeks now. How? Uh, I was asked to call you and say that we will be bound to expel her if she doesn't make up all of her missed assignments in the near time. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. I'll talk to her. She'll surely make up all assignments as soon as possible. I hope so. Goodbye. Goodbye, ma'am. <laughs> Dina! I got a call from the university. They want to expel you. You're not attending classes. You didn't hand in your works. What's the matter? I'm going through a creative crisis. A, what creative crisis is this? 
Sit down, we're not done yet. I know what kind of crisis this is. You're going to waste your life because of a man, he right? He has nothing to do with it. Yeah, sure. Stop screaming at me already. Dina, Ira! You're just jealous of us. Oh God, what's to be jealous of, silly girl? Stop lecturing me already, I'm an adult now. Oh, you're an adult? Perhaps you'll take responsibility then. For the family and for mom, and I'll come to Moscow and to study? As you wish. Ira! Mom? Mom! Oh, God. Dina, call the ambulance. Yeah, sure. Hurry up. I'll leave it. I need to tell you something, dear. I know that it, it was difficult with me. For you, right? Mom, what are you saying? I love you very much. I love you too, darling. You know that there are such people who fly around like moths and don't think about anyone. <sighs> They get away with everything. But we're not like that. You're a simple, busy bee, just like I am. Yes, uh, I'm like you. I, I know you used to dream about a different life, but I, I taught you to have your feet steady and strong on the ground. You don't depend on anyone. I'm proud, my dear. The ambulance is coming now. <laughs> I am very sorry if something's not Mom, right. Mom, come on. My darling, take care of Dina and Sasha. Uh, Mom! Mom! Uh, mommy! Mom! Mommy! Mom! My condolences, Thank you. honey. Thank you very much for coming. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Goodbye. Hang in there. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello? Where are you? Why aren't you picking up the phone? I couldn't get through to you in three days. My mother just died. Come here, please. I need you very much. <laughs> Sasha, it's good that they've let you come. It's not going to be for long. It's just for three days. I should go now. <clears throat> Who's she talking to? That dumb boyfriend of hers. Dina. Dina, why are you crying, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna cry now, too. I'll cry. I'll cry and they'll kick me out of the army. Who needs crying men, you know? What's going on? Look, Sasha, perhaps you should be going. You'll miss the train if you're late. Yeah, I should. <laughs> All right, sisters. Be as strong as our mom was. Don't cry anymore, okay? <laughs> Sasha, will you be able to write to us? I hope so. I'm off now. I'll walk you out. Hush, 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 hush. That's it, that's it. I'm here. I'm, I'm right here, okay? Let's go to the room. Hush. Come on, now it's okay. I 
good morning, mistress. Good morning. So, what's for breakfast today? Oh, damn, look. I've been eating here for nearly a week. It's high time you remembered that a man is to be fed with meat, do you hear me? There must be meat for breakfast, lunch, and supper. First, this is not a canteen shop. Second, you're not my man. <laughs> hey, why are you so angry, kitty cat, hmm? I guess you need sex as much as I need meat, right? You know, I could help you with that, but I'm a little bit busy, unfortunately, at the moment. Oh, God. God has nothing to do with it, though. You might get a piece of this meat if, you know, if you behave, of course, right? Save your toilet jokes for someone else, you jerk. Good morning. Good morning. Go have breakfast. Good morning, baby. <laughs> I've been missing you, my dear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd better go. I've lost my appetite now. Really? My appetite, on the other hand, is raging. <laughs> yeah, Dima, what are, what are you doing? Stop! <sighs> I hope this administrative inspection ends really soon. I've been all nerves for two weeks already. That's going to be all right, darling. Mm-hmm, I am sure. I wish I could be calm like you. <laughs> By the way, I nearly forgot. Do you remember how you asked me to print out photos before all those events? Ah, yes, right. I printed them. Here you go. Thank you very much. How much do I owe you? Oh, come on, no money. There's no need. Stop it. Take your pennies away. Take your pennies Here, away. Here, take it, Show please. me the photos instead. Come on, let me see, come on. Yeah. Mm, look, these are Dina and Sasha. And this is Mom, in the park. She felt good and happy on that day. Ira, I'm sorry. If you don't want to, you don't have to. No, it's all right. Really. Mm, and these are Dina and Sasha again. This is Dina with her stupid boyfriend. Let me take a look. Isn't this boyfriend of hers called Dima Sukhanov? Yeah, that's him. Oh, girlfriend, you're in trouble. He's a criminal. Samsonov's right-hand man. Oh, God, who's Samsonov? A crime lord. He has his own club. They organize illegal card games there, and Dima tricks people out of their money. My husband was cheated out of several thousand dollars. Hold on, are you sure this is him, though? I'm 100% sure that's him. This story set me back for so many years. This is bad. They nearly killed my Leisha back then. I'll remember this face up until the day that I die. Dina, where are you? I can't get through to you the entire day. We urgently need to talk about your Dima. He's not what he pretends to be. Please, don't go anywhere with him. Go home. If you're with him, if you're with him, tell him that, tell him that I'll kill him if something happens to you. Please call me back. Dina, is it you? Try again. Where's Dina at? I don't know, in the university, I guess. Are you drunk? <laughs> Are you against that? This is none of my business. We need to have, we need to have a talk. I'm all ears then. Why do you need Dina? You don't love her. 
She's just a little girl and you're a grown, mature man. You should find an older girl, a more experienced one. Now that's interesting, don't you think? Please leave Dina alone. Well, I mean, if you're asking... I am. Let go of me! Come on, stop playing hard What are you doing? Get. A more experienced woman, you say, as someone like you, But huh? that's not what I meant, I... Yeah, I can... Let me go! I, I can see you oh! with the eye on... Are you out of your mind? It makes you mad when no. Dean and I are around, let, huh? Let me go! All right, enough talking, then. Let go of me! Oh, <laughs> oh dear, sorry. Dima? Can you tell me the time? Uh, sure I can. Uh, 1842. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Oh, hello there. Who... Hello. Who's the ambulance for? This is for you, Dina. Hurry up. But, but just don't worry. <gasps> Dima? Dima? You killed him. All right, please tell me exactly what happened here. He, uh, fell. He fell down and hit his head. I didn't want to do it. You killed her. Be sure to write all of this down. Dina, Make sure you what are you right. talking about? He came here and tried to rape me. I was just protecting myself. You're lying. No, you're lying. You're lying. He was drunk. I mean, how dare you? Who would even look at you, huh? Even being drunk. You're looking older than your age. No, you're no, lonely. Please. No one I... needs you, so you're jealous of my happiness. Dima told me you had put the eye on him, and I didn't believe him. What a fool I was. Dina. You know I really hate you. Tell me now, how is he? Well, before I can say that, we need to take the necessary x-rays and take samples. I'm sorry, but we'll have to inform the police about this incident. I'll do it on my own, then. For. for several hours now. But it's all right. The doctors are saying that the crisis is over. <laughs> Where's Zyra? Dima, what are you talking about? She's in jail. She's detained until the circumstances are clarified. What circumstances? She nearly killed you. She came up with all kinds of excuses. She said you wanted to rape her. Can you believe that crazy woman? I don't believe her. You were right about her. You know I love you, right, Dima? I really am in love with you. I'm ready to follow you to the edge of the world, I promise. And why would I need you at the edge of the world with me, hmm? You're a sissy. You're spineless and weak. Uh, what? Yeah, you've... You've turned your sister in straight away. Are you gonna do the same with me? Hey, what your sister said was true. She's a real human being. I'd marry her right away. But you're just a wuss. Great job. You woke up quickly. Well, we're trying. How are you feeling? Okay, doctor. Did the investigator come and see me or what, man? Well, yes, but you were unconscious. I can call him if you want. Yeah. Tell him that I need to see him and make a statement as well. All right. In the morning. As for now, I need to examine you. Look here, will you? Good job. Don't be afraid. Look right here now. Look here. How many fingers? 
are you seeing here? Eleven. Hello there. Hello. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the hospital. I'm fine. I heal pretty quickly, just like a dog. And you were released, as far as I can see. Look, they told me that you didn't file a complaint against me. They said that you said you fell down and you hit your head on the post. Thank you. Well, I, I can't really use your thanks as a form of payment. Those won't help me. <clears throat> this is for you. What's this for? Let's just say it's my apology for everything. You know what? Leave Dina alone and we can call it even. I already did. I've just realized that I, I need a completely different woman. Take your broom back. Where is Dina? Now forget Dina for a second, will ya? Why are you starting with that nonsense, huh? Think about us for once. About us? All right, I get it. You're not like that. But I'm ready to change too. I'm ready to... to romance you. With flowers and with gifts. Things like that. Properly, you know? Seriously? Don't you understand anything at all, Dima? So you're saying I have no chance with you at all, huh? Yes. Hello. Hello. You're gonna regret that. Dina. <sighs> Hello, Olga. This is Ira. It's Dina Kalacheva's sister. She's missing. I can't find her anywhere. Uh, I've already called everyone. Do you have any idea as to where she could be? Yeah, sorry then. Have a good day. I knew you'd come here, sweetie. Do you remember how we used to come here with Sasha to feed ducks? Ira, I'm so ashamed. <laughs> Dina, come on, stop it. I'm such a jerk, I literally hate myself. Come on, everybody makes mistakes. You never make mistakes. Yeah, I do all the time. I thought you would never forgive me for this. <laughs> Dina. What are you talking about? I love you. So much, darling. You know what? 
You know what? Let's just forget everything. <laughs> uh-huh. Let's go then. What about work? You're supposed to be at work today. You have some important commission today. You're missing out. Well, I'm not supposed to be there anymore. Some important seniors came today and they didn't like something about my report and I wasn't there. Roman Vasilyevich signed my resignation without thinking too much about it. Ira, this is all my fault, you know? Shh, oh, come on. <laughs> you have nothing to do with it. No, it's all my fault, and I know it. Stop it. I don't need a job where no one values me. What is it actually? The bosses point at them, and they fire me? Ira, what are you gonna do now, huh? <laughs> I'll think of something quickly. Don't worry on that. All right, let's go, or you'll turn into an icicle. Destiny. Don't look for any dumb basic job. Enter the medical college. You dreamt so much about it. Dina, what are you talking about? What are you and Sasha going to do? Oh God, what's this? Dina, what's wrong? <coughs> Dina. What's wrong? I guess I ate something bad. Let me bring you activated carbon. Sit down. Here. Dina? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Just calm down. Hmm. Will you tell me if something happens? Yeah, sure. All right then. Congratulations, Dina. Yeah. You're pregnant. I guess you know it already. <sighs> Can I arrange an abortion now? Are you out of your mind? Well, it's my right, isn't it? It is. Make an appointment for an abortion now. You know, we usually give women a chance to think everything through beforehand. Go home and discuss it with your sister. <sighs> oh, I see now. Hello, Ira? Nadia speaking. You know, it's unprofessional of me to call you, of course, but I have to tell you something. Dina, is it you? Hey, it's me. Dina? Dina? Dina, are you out of your mind? You got a report, right? What are you doing? 
Yeah, it was actually stupid to go to my sister's friend for an exam. Listen to me, Dina. What are you suggesting? Keep the baby? And working my frustration off on it for the rest of my life? Like our mother did with us? <laughs> Ira, I'm sorry, please. Please forgive me, I was wrong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please, sorry. Dina, don't kill your unborn child. I'll take care of it for you. But what about your medical college? That's in the past now. You have your whole life ahead of you. Focus on your future in school. Just don't do it. Do it for me. All right then. I swear I'll think about it. I just need a little bit more time, okay? All right, everything's ready for the operation. Follow me to room 302. Do you hear me, dear? I... I can't do it. Oh, well, you know, come on, lady. Dina! Dina, what are you doing, honey? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! What should I tell the doctor, ladies? <laughs> Ira, nothing's happening. <laughs> That's it, that's it, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what to write. Write it as it is. Look, why would Sasha care? <laughs> Look, he would care. Write down, dear Sasha, soon you'll have a nephew or a niece whom you'd like to meet. <laughs> Am I supposed to write exactly that? <laughs> write it like that. Do you know how glad he will be? Oh no, we have to prepare the man for it somehow, don't we? Oh, all right. Write this then. Mm. Dear Sasha, life goes on, you know. When you come back from the army, a... New member of our family will meet you upon your arrival. A little nephew or a niece. <laughs> Ira, thank you very much. Oh, forget it. Look here. Yeah? It's your birthday tomorrow, silly girl. Well? Let's make a party. All right. What do we need to do for it? Well, this is a surprise. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kostya? Uh, yes, 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 Kostya. Hello, I, I was speaking. Yeah, um, it's Dina's birthday today. Are you coming? What do you mean you're not sure? We're actually waiting for you. Yes, Dina? Yes, you should totally come. All right, see you. See you tomorrow then. Bye, yeah. Dina! Dina, why are you behaving like a little girl? Here you go, Kostya. And taste this. Thank you. And taste this too, it's amazing. Ah. Ira, okay. enough already. Uh, What's the matter? Whom did I cook it for? Kostya, would you pour some wine for us, please? 
Yeah, of course I will. Thank you. All right. Mm-hmm. Dina, happy birthday to you. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, I... I think something's burning in the back. Hold on a second. Uh, let me give you some salad. Ah. Uh. Kostya, who are you? Are you Prince Charming? Here to save the poor lamb yet again? <laughs> Do you know that I used to date another man, and he just left me? So what? Kostya, I'm pregnant with this baby. And so then? I mean, do you need me like this, though? <laughs> I do, Dina. I need you very much. I've been loving you since the first grade. And you know that very well. Ah. Uh... Did anything burn? <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> Let's get to the table. <laughs> ah, the cutlets. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I see no obstacles. All looks good. Our hospital actually needs an accountant very much. Go to the staff department and register, and I'll warn them from here. Just like this? Yes. <laughs> Shall I play the state anthem for you? <laughs> you know, I've always dreamt of becoming a doctor, so I'm very happy for the opportunity. Well, you're welcome. It is well deserved. The staff department is in room 101. Thank you. See you soon. See you soon. Dina, hold on. What's up? Will you marry me? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> yeah, I'm out of my mind. Dina, I love you. I've talked to my parents, and they're not against it. They love you. Do you even understand what you're saying? Do I look like an idiot? No, I'm the idiot. But please, let's not rush this, okay? So we won't rush it, then. Take a look. Have you signed for the prescription yet? Is everything all right? Ira? Hello there, Anton. It's been such a long time. 